out here in beautiful uh, Red Rock Canyon uh, with a hike with Jonathan Kristoff. Uh, Jonathan's a sport performance coach and he's also going to be a link on our website sometime down the road real soon here because he helps people with fitness. But we're out here today, I want to ask him a couple of questions. Uh, Jonathan, now as a sports performance coach, where does something like hiking really fit in? Is that something that's considered to be a, a decent exercise or what? Uh, it's an it's decent to excellent because you can start off on the path of just like getting in your recovery walks You're you know getting some mental time to yourself or with friends and family um, Or loved pet even oh, fantastic uh, way to go, but you can also move into sort of a more uh, Functional domain of just making sure that your joints are working in different uh, planes hiking as opposed to sort of just taking a walk on a flat surface is going to challenge your body a little bit more um, allow you to get engaged a little bit more too if people are sort of bored on their walks or during their uh, low intensity aerobic exercise this is going to cause way more stimulation beautiful views fun with friends uh, it's a good good time all around so i never thought about that for agility then hiking is really a good thing because it's going to help you learn to navigate and it's going to help your joints help you learn how to that's that's interesting. So from an anaerobic standpoint, not much unless you do. Not if you're gonna go crazy, you can. Um, you can try and scramble. I mean, right behind uh, our uh, photographer here, our film uh, filming uh, assistant. Sassy savvy. Sassy course. savvy. Sassy that's the savvy. one. She's got it. Um, yeah, this is a. I mean, a perfect example of somewhere where you can sort of challenge your body to move in different ways and get uh, different planes of pulling and pushing. Um, it's an excellent way to get to know your body and build athleticism as you were saying in terms of joints and um, that stimulated activity uh, that I was referring to. So one of the things that RX Health have as we talk about is you got to find some things you do that you enjoy and if you're just going to jump on a treadmill and, and hate it you're not going to stick with it. So my wife and I love to go hiking with Sassy Sam of course uh, because we uh, we love to do different things and, and hiking is a part of the thing that we really enjoy to get some moderate exercise. So. Jonathan, if you just want to wrap up, tell us a little bit about what you do, and uh, we're, we're thinking about putting you on our website as a link. Tell us a little bit about what you do as far as how you coach people. Sure. Um, I've been a personal trainer, um, a fitness nutrition specialist for about 10 years. Um, I've worked in sports performance for Olympic weightlifting, uh, CrossFit coaching, and, and performance, and also uh, gymnastics. And outside of that, I've been trying to develop more of an understanding of well-being and strategies for habit change and... Um, sort of improving life in a more uh, integral way. And you can find me at www.virtuositas.com, B-I-R-T-U-O-S-I-T-A-S.com. And he'll be a link on our, uh, on our on this video, but it'll also be a link on our website. Eventually, we're hoping in the next couple of weeks to get him up there so that if you really want some, some more in-depth physical training, that's not what I can do. He can do that. Uh, we can have a lot of other things. So uh, but I tell you what, he knows his game and he can really help you sharpen yours and get you on a path and on a journey that's going to change your life. Because I tell you what, when you start really getting into physical activity and exercise, you'll be amazed at how different you feel. So until next video. Mm -hmm.